It seems like people are still confused. Someone that's not confused is Mossab Youssef. He's the son of a founding uh, Hamas leader, and he's the author of Son of Hamas. Uh, thanks so much for joining the program. You know, I'm always curious, uh, because we have so many Americans here that don't understand Hamas. Can you paint the picture for the audience of who we're dealing with? Uh, some have referred to them as uh, Israel's ISIS. Why do they say this, sir? Well, good morning. Morning. Um, it, it's the wrong comparison, you know, to say Hamas and ISIS because I think Hamas is a lot more dangerous. Mm. Look uh, at the division and the, the global confusion because of Hamas. You know, uh, they 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 brought us uh, to our knees somehow. You know, by their brutality and their uh, barbarism. You know, brutality is even uh, underestimating. Uh, uh, Hamas uh, act. Uh, Hamas is a religious uh, movement, you know, and they are raging a religious movement against Israel. This is what they are doing. The mainstream media cannot say this because they are afraid uh, to ignite a religious war. And mm. what I say, it already is. You know, they want to annihilate the Jewish people because they are Jewish people, because they are Jewish state. This is why they hate Israel. They want to establish an Islamic state on the rubble of the state of Israel. Uh, the uh, campaign, their, their campaign title is uh, Tufan al-Aqsa, which means uh, the flood of al-Aqsa Mosque. So it is a religious uh, situation, and we just need to expose them for what they are. They are not a national movement. If they were a national movement, a political movement, you can uh, satisfy their ambition somehow. You can negotiate with them. But when they are religious movement, that they don't believe even in political borders, that they, they are uh, driven by uh, dark hatred towards a race, mm -hmm. you know, towards a nation. Uh, and we saw that when they killed people indiscriminately. Uh, it's all uh, uh, evidence. You know, of to what extent Hamas can can go. Musab, how did you become a Christian? I mean, because we've talked about it, it's hard because the, what we've read, what we know about Hamas is they indoctrinate children at an early age, and you can you can you know let us know if that's correct. But to hate other people, to kill the Jews, to kill Americans, how do you fight that when they have been indoctrinated at an early age? And how did you come to know Christ? Well, yeah, this is this is a good question. Well, first of all, I did not become Christian. You know, I did not leave Muslim to become Christian. I was fascinated, and I'm still fascinated by the uh, by Christ consciousness, uh, which basically, you know, um, uh, in that region, you know, where uh, hatred is taken over. You know, I did not see that uh, our problem uh, was Israel. I, I saw that we had uh, a lot more complicated problem within our, our, our society. And I found the teachings of uh, loving thy enemy, forgiveness, uh, compassion, uh, uh, the, power, uh, the power to be crucified uh, and uh, stand above pain and stand above uh, 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 misjudgment. Uh, I saw that the, uh, there was lots of power uh, to that. And uh, uh, this is why uh, I made the choices I made. I haven't been in a church. I lie to you if I tell you uh, I'm a church goer I, many, many years now. But Christ consciousness continued to influence me uh, and uh, ignite uh, the light within. You know, because we live in a uh, dark world and uh, men think that they are superior to God, you know, but they are not. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, the why we are in crisis right, right now, because we don't have God in our hearts. We have abandoned God and we became very confused. And now the enemy mm -hmm. uh, attacked us. Well, let's talk about the enemy. Uh, you write in your book. And you talk about how your dad was one of the founders and how you had to break from him, saved his life many times, but he still disowned you because he doesn't fully realize that. So you start working with the, the IDF uh, to unearth them and uh, unwind some plots before they happen. You also write that in 2006, nobody thought that Hamas was capable of taking over the Gaza Strip, but they did in two seconds, kick Fatah right out. Are they capable of putting up uh, and withstanding an IDF invasion? Do you think they're that strong, or do you think they've already run from the fight? Um, 
their strength uh, that they are hiding behind uh, children and women and uh, many civilians. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, this is what they did. They, they surprised Israel on Yom Kippur. It's a holiday, you know, and uh, then they ran uh, very quickly uh, to, to hide uh, and use human shields. Uh, they have many tunnels, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they used uh, the funds and the uh, aid that came to Gaza instead of it went to the people, they used it to uh, dig tunnels. And this is what they've been doing, digging tunnels under the ground. So uh, it's very hard to deal with this type of suicidal uh, group of fighters who basically uh, don't appreciate life. They don't praise life, you know. Uh, they actually uh, looking forward uh, to, to death. the next right. life. So uh, it, this is why it's very hard, you know, for uh, not do you only think they for ran, Israel. Musa, for do you think they're there, though? Do you think they're still there, or do you think they're trying to get out through the the Rafa Pass? No, no. I think they are they are still there, mm. and they are preparing. And the reason that the Israel is delaying their campaign right. because they're gathering in intelligence, I think they should wait. A little bit longer because without intelligence, without information, knowing the tunnel, uh, tunnel's mouths right. and the uh, Hamas movement on the ground, it is going to be a very difficult uh, war. Uh, Mossad, uh, exit question, a uh, final question for you. Ultimately, once the ground invasion does start, the goal of the IDF and the Israelis is to rid the world of Hamas, which your father founded. Given what you've said about how it's a movement, not necessarily people, but it's a movement. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. But Gaza uh, front is not the only front. First of all, uh, Israel must destroy Hamas infrastructure, including the tunnels, and whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, uh, Israel need to uh, deal with the head of the snake mm -hmm. in Doha, in Beirut, in uh, uh, wherever they are. You know, cut the head of the snake and let the tail die. You know, we won't be able to destroy Hamas as an ideology, but we can definitely overthrow them. Now, I don't know how much this will take. You know, this is why I recommend that we gather intelligence and we enforce a very powerful, unbreachable siege. It has to continue for long enough. You know, those tunnels, they need ventilation. They need power. They need, they need communication. Now. If we cut the power, fuel, uh, even water, uh, oxygen if possible, long enough, uh, this could take uh, long weeks. And we know where the tunnels are uh, in general. They are close to the siege. They are close to the uh, border with Israel. Uh, we have uh, offensive tunnels. Those we know for sure that we, the hostages are not in the offensive tunnels. Okay. They are most likely in tunnels under uh, the um, uh, city buildings. Sure. So wow. at so least we possible. can begin with the offensive tunnels, okay. destroy those, then we can move to the next stage. But we need a very uh, strict, uh, unbreachable siege to deplete the enemy. If we go in immaturely, then we, we might pay a very high price. Got it. Yeah. Mossad, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on and educating us You're about welcome, and yep. thank you for having me. Pick up his book if you want to find out how this whole thing started.